Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Curriculum Rehab from Brave New Teaching. We are so excited to have you here. Oh, hooray. I'm sure some of you were like waiting and should I come in? Should I do it? Is it the right time? And now you are here. Yes. And we are going to give you a little overview of what to expect in Curriculum Rehab. If you've been a listener of the podcast for even a minute, I'm guessing you already know kind of what to expect from the two of us. We are classroom teachers by trade. We absolutely speak to what we know. We are telling you about the strategies that have been tried and true within our own classrooms and that have been revamped over, oh my gosh, 30 plus years of combined experience, right? Like I'm doing quick math. This is how you know I'm an ELA teacher because that (laughs) math was hard. For me to do just now. It's a lot. But we wanted to give a quick little like overview, preview of what to expect in curriculum rehab so that you know what is coming. All right. Listen, it's and and you know what? We have been working through this course for years. So when you're coming into the course, there have been iterations and additions, and we are constantly evolving what this is because what makes a course from us really special is that we're very close to you and to the content. This is not Mm -hmm. something that we wrap up and dismiss and move on from. We are curriculum rehabbing all the time. So we wanted to just take a minute to walk you through what to expect once you get inside. Yep. Okay. So first off, we've got five modules that you'll be going through. And we've really decided to dig into this idea of like curriculum rehab. So imagine that your curriculum, your year long course overview curriculum is like a house that you are either building from the ground up or that you are renovating, right? Maybe it's a flip. Maybe it's a DIY and you're going to get in there and it's going to be the house of your dreams. Either way, like no matter where you're coming from or what stage of your career you are at for teaching, this course is going to help you make sure you've got a really strong foundation to start from in our first module, aptly named The Foundation. And with that, you know, we want to make sure that you know going through this we are going to work with whatever situation you are facing at your school. So module one, of course, is going to take you through kind of the pedagogical background, the theorists, Mm -hmm. the um, kind of the philosophical things you need to have in your heart and your mind as you're planning, because the goal is to plan an entire year. Like Marie said, whether you are starting from scratch or starting with pieces that are already there, this is where we're going to get started in module one is with the heart of it, where things are for you in reality of what you have and in what you believe as a teacher. Well, and because we're all in academics, this really is the most important module, in my opinion, because it starts us from a basis of research, right? And of uh, looking at the experts in our field that are outside of us, that are a little bit higher up, that have done like deep academic research, published that research, done study after study. And that is where we are basing the strategies that we talk about in Brave New Teaching, specifically here in Curriculum Rehab, and then going from there. So if you're a person who's like, yes, this sounds great, but I don't know how to get my administrators on board. Module one, lesson one, the research is the way to get your administrators and your other higher ups and maybe even your colleagues on board with this sort of methodology. Because like Amanda said, I have used these strategies building something from nothing. Amanda has worked in multiple schools where she had prescribed curriculum, right? And so we're talking about ways to create curriculum that is true to you and to your situation. So it's the best of all of the worlds. I'm making the sound like it's like super shiny and amazing, which it is, but it is also hard work. So. Well, and so that's what we're here for. So once we've kind of gone through the research, we've translated that research into our own kind of mission statement philosophy. We are going to move into module two, which is Mm -hmm. where I will kind of give you the building blocks of what you need to build essential questions and how those essential questions will drive both the texts that you choose or are given and the skills that you use and or are given. Um, So we'll really work through the ways in which that happens in a much more in-depth way than we have done in either our workshops or in the podcast. So that's going to be the driving force behind module two. And I am here to hold your hand. Uh, We are going to to be showing you our own personal examples and how they work with 
texts and skills. So everything is gonna be handheld and we're gonna work you through a lot of different versions of both unit long essential questions and year long essential questions. Yes, and then once we've got that figured out, right? The essential question, what's gonna be driving your inquiry, your instruction, student learning, everything that they interact with, all of the whys and the drive behind it, module three is going to create your timeline. Like that's, I think where a lot of us start our planning is at a calendar. Totally. And that is not until the third module in our curriculum rehab course, because you really do need a strong basis before you get there. But when you're ready and you're in module three and you're ready to map out your timeline, we're going to start with the end in mind. We are going to start with final assessments. This is true backwards planning. We're going to work our way backwards through all of the different types of assessments you're going to have, big, small, everywhere in between. We're going to take into account your bell schedule. We're going to take into account your school school's calendar and get all of the different parts that feel really overwhelming and are kind of spinning around us and put them all in one place and create a solid and flexible curriculum, timeline, calendar, map, all of the words. It sounds maybe a little bit impossible, but we are actually going to help you walk away from this course with a full year planned. It's yes. going to happen. <laughs> And the we last two modules, it. yes, you're going to have your full map. And it might even be all on one document with hyperlinks because oh. that's the takeaway. That's the, the tangible that you're going to have at the end here, teachers. Our last two modules are all about filling in the details and then using the tools that are at our disposal. So module four is going to bring in like legitimate lesson planning, the types of lessons, the instructional strategies, the student practice, the remediation, and putting it all into a way to really deliver content um, effectively and efficiently within that timeline that you've created. And then our last module is going to infuse a little bit more of the tools that we have at our disposal, the tech tools, the um, other sorts of things that are going to make it even more dynamic of a year-long curriculum. I think our most favorite highlight from the end part of curriculum rehab is in module four, where Marie and I have taken actual units and provide mm -hmm. two each walkthroughs of the entire unit from start to finish. So we're not just going to talk about what to do. We're going to actually take you through my Great Gatsby unit, my Thousand Splendid Sons unit, Marie's Animal Farm unit, and Marie's Argument and Rhetoric unit. And these mm -hmm. are the things that we are constantly adding to and updating over the course of your existence distance as a curriculum rehabber. So we're really excited for you when you're ready to get to that place and see actually what we're doing in those different styles of units, right? From, from a whole class novel to choices, to argument and rhetoric, to plays. I mean, curriculum rehab is something that, that we are ready to show you the ways in which it flexes for all different styles of literature, different styles of things that we're teaching in ELA. And although we've specialized in ELA and that is our bread and butter and that's where we come from, we have seen so many curriculum rehabbers go through this experience being able to adapt it to their content areas that are slightly adjacent to you know, what we're describing. Yes. And as Amanda said, we are we are constantly using our own methodologies to rehab this course itself as well. And so as a teacher in ELA, but I'm also a drama teacher. So I teach things that are ELA adjacent, but I also teach like a technical theater course. And so I have a unit that I will walk through that is using completely different skills than like analysis, but it's still using the same methods as we have in curriculum rehab to create that type of a unit and that type of a year long curriculum. So you can see where it translates to different content areas um, pretty seamlessly. It's, we are very excited for you to get started. Uh, we're so happy you're here and we hope that you can just embrace this opportunity to find your own way through the materials that you have and pair together your actual humans, the who you're teaching, the course you have. And remember the power you have to revisit this every time your course changes, every mm -hmm. time you change schools, this comes with you. And as long as you've got a great fresh set of flare pens and something to drink and you're comfy cozy, you are going to find yourself right at home here in Curriculum Rehab. Yep. We cannot wait to get started with you and uh, enjoy. Send us your questions along the way.